Hello guys, in this video we will see how to install Zap 2.15 on Linux operating system. The process is same on all Linux operating systems. Okay, open any web browser, then go to zapproxy.org. This is the official website. Hit enter. See, Zap means Jet Attack Proxy. It is the world's most widely used web app scanner. Free and open source tool okay so click on download or click on download both are same click on download see here we have the linux installer and linux package the only prerequisite is we must have the java 11 or higher version okay so open terminal now verify whether we have java or not you java hyphen hyphen version to verify whether java is installed or not See, Java is not installed, so download and install Java latest version. So, go to oracle.com, then click on products, then scroll down. See, here we have the Java. Click on Java, then click on download Java, scroll down. See, here we have the Java 23 and 21. And if you want older versions, you have to click on this Java archive. I am going to install Java JDK 23. Okay. See, for Debian type operating systems, we have to install. For R, for RHL, Fedora type of operating systems, we have to download RPM. So, I am on Ubuntu. So, download this one. Then install. For RHL, you have to download this RPM package. Okay. Right click on this one. Copy link. Open terminal. Duplicate. Paste it. Hit enter. See, its size is 200 megabytes. Wait until download completes. LS now install this Java JDK. Okay, sudo dpkg-i. This is for Debian type operating systems. For RHL, you have to give like RPM-i, then you have to give the downloaded RPM package. Okay, sudo dpkg-i, then give JDK, give the tab, hit enter. We have successfully installed Control L, verify Java hyphen hyphen version. See, we have installed Java JDK 23. Okay, so prerequisite match. Now go to job site. See here we have two types of installers Linux installer and package. We are going to download this Linux installer. So click on download and its size is 224 megabytes. See, download started. See here its size is 224 megabytes. Wait until download completes. Remove this. Java JDK file because we have installed. Now go to downloads directory ls. See, still it is downloading. See, download is completed. Go to terminal ls. Okay, see, it is downloaded ls ltrh. See, it is not executable. So make it as executable sudo chmod plus x. Then give the zap file name. Hit enter. See, zap2 underscore 15 means it is the version number. Control L, ls. Now install it. sudo dot forward slash. Then use zap. Use the tab to autofill. Hit enter. Now click on next. Then select this one that I accept the agreement. Then click on next. See, here we have two types of installations standard and custom. So click on custom installation. Then click on next. See, this is the location to install this app. If you want some other location, click on browse. Okay. Suppose if you go back, standard installation, it won't ask these options. Okay. So click on next. See, if you click on next, see it has taken the default locations. Okay. So for custom, click on next. Next. See, this is the directory for the symlinks. Okay. If you want to change, click on browse and select the path. Click on next. If you want to create desktop icon, it will create here. I don't want anything. It is up to you. So click on select it. Keep as it is and click on next. See, if you want to check the updates on startup, we have to keep the checkbox. Otherwise, uncheck it. It is up to you. So I don't want. So click on next. See, this is the installation summary. Like additional task and other information. Okay. So if you are okay with all the settings, then click on next. See, installation has been started. See, installation has been completed successfully. Click on finish. Now, Click on show applications. See here we have this app. 
click on it see it is starting see do you want to persist the job session it is up to you select the options see you have different options like name location current current stamp and others every time if you open it will ask click on start select any one of them let me maximize it see this is a job application if you want to create new session file new session if you want to open session click on open see you can perform different actions okay analyze or report you have different options see here zap is an easy integrated penetration testing tool for finding vulnerabilities in vulnerabilities in web application see here source is zap 2.150 you can also verify help then click on about zap see version number okay so we have successfully installed now go to ls see we have installed so this file is not required anymore so, rm you the tab and hit enter ls so we have cleared the site. i will keep both these links in the video description so we have successfully downloaded and installed zap 2.15 on linux operating systems for more zap or cyber security tutorials please subscribe my channel thank you